Welcome back to our town centre garden. The weather in June is becoming a little more stable and warm. High wispy cirrus clouds paint the sky with broad white strokes. The birds are having a lot of clutches and new babies surprise me all of the time. I am thinking about the wood pigeon babies and their parents today and make a point of looking out for them when I can. Unless I watch a pigeon leave the tree, it's difficult to know who the parents are. The neighbour's cat recently killed a young female blackbird, so her owner is about to get a bell attached to her collar. The town is noisy with a strong breeze and the workmen next door. A single dark male starling has become a frequent visitor lately. I'm not certain if it's the same bird every day. This starling is not fighting for dominance over the bowl. The wood pigeon is not certain about sharing with this collared dove. The dove wisely chooses the lower bowl. The pigeon still keeps an eye on that pesky dove. Something makes the birds edgy. Magpie babies are chattering away while Master Chief collects food at high speed. A previous pigeon battle left some white neck feathers on the feeding station. It's not often that so many pigeons and doves line up for the food. A brave move for a dove. Let's see what they do next. The doves lose their call as the pigeon shows them who's boss. The wood pigeon on the fence is preparing something. A bit of freaky flying to worry them a bit. That'll do it. Maybe not. An attack could come from any direction, so the feeding pigeons are keeping an eye on everyone. They seem to have given up for now.
A Sparrow juvenile spends a nice amount of time collecting seeds. Elsa, the female blackbird, is very busy on the lawn. She uses a lot of force to peck things hidden in the grass. She sometimes uses her springy legs to jump into the pecking motion. This reminds me of Arctic foxes diving into snow or Olympic divers doing their thing. When you start to pay attention you can see how much other creatures manipulate the environment around us. This bird is aerating the soil each time she pecks hard. The worms under the soil also allow room for oxygen under there. This blackbird may be trying to get at a worm. Everything she does benefits the environment and that includes things she destroys. The wood pigeon is acting shady. And now we know why. They follow each other around a lot over the next hour. Meanwhile, the Dunnock has come to the feeder. I love how silky these birds look. Their soft tones of grey and brown are a very pretty combination. R2-D2 is a sentry on the distant roofs. He also has a mouthful of food. I am happy his behaviour stands out like this so it's easy to get him on video. But I do worry that he leaves himself exposed to danger. A young female sparrow takes her time in the bowl. A male sparrow plucks away the white feather stuck on the feeding station. The nimble flight of the sparrow is fun to watch. The birds scan the area constantly for dangers as they gather the yummies in the bowl. The young female hops up to greet the male. I think sparrows are delightful. And so does my neighbour's cat. This fierce young predator has a reputation. She brings presents home for her neighbour at four in the morning, worthy of an episode of CSI. She knows I'm watching her and gives me the evil eye regularly. Just keep moving, cat. Pigeons jump high when they take off. I slowed the clip down to see how they do it. They make it look easy.
Their large wings are perfect for pushing down on air. Have you spotted the spy camera yet? A young house sparrow has returned to the bowl. The spy camera gets some clips of her. I love the sound of her wings. You can hear how the feathers beat on the air to gain lift. It's wonderful to see the progress of these young birds. A wood pigeon is waiting quietly on the feeder. She quickly gathers as much as she can in case the pigeon tries to stomp on her. She watches the pigeon for any fast movements which will be her signal to leave. Surprisingly, the pigeon is not yet interested in landing in the food bowl. It is being very cautious. It cranes its neck to see something. I wonder what's bothering it. It wouldn't land there. What's going on? This pigeon is very undecided. The food looks so good, but something is keeping it tense. As the pigeon retreats to the fence, we can see why it was worried. It's a jackdaw. That explains a lot of the behaviour we just saw. The spy camera has shut itself down at this point, much to my dismay. It either runs out of power or memory. The pigeon hops down to the wall and glares at the big black bird. The jackdaw just gathers food as quickly as it can. As soon as it flies away, a starling takes its place. The wood pigeons don't seem to be up for a fight right now. This is the moment when that old cowboy gun battle music starts up in my head. Everyone is just waiting around. Are they resting?
Master Chief is not waiting for anything. Food first, actions later. Maybe he has a reputation for scaring off large birds. You know how gossip gets around. Who will be the first on the food? The pigeon makes a move, but the duff surprises everyone by taking it over completely. It fans out its tail. I think this may be to make itself look bigger and rapidly opening it is a freaky move it can use to make the other birds jump. A neighbor's cough makes it leave. It takes a long time for the pigeon to move to the food. The presence of the cat explains the recent paranoia. It is safer on the chimneys right now. The cat leaves via the west exit and a pigeon feels brave enough to sit on the fence. I want to film its flight, so I wait. It's not ready to go yet. I watch the pigeon for telltale signs that it will move. That isn't one of them. I hope I can get to this shot. Success. I'm very happy catching its flight this smoothly. I wonder if this is a parent pigeon from the tree. The spy camera is in a new position. The pigeon on the ground came down from the tree just now. I'm keeping an eye on it as I think it is Mama Pigeon. I wanted to know what happens when they are nesting. I read that male pigeons sit on the eggs and babies while Mama Pigeon gets some food for herself. The cat is back. She watches me like I am watching her. Is it just me or does she seem a lot more menacing today?
I finally have both my cameras set up to record a battle from two angles. For the benefit of this video, I am naming the pigeons Aeon Flux and Trevor Goodchild. Aeon is on the wall and Trevor is in the bowl. Aeon launches her attack. The loudness of the thwacks as they try to hit one another is shocking when heard from either camera. The sound of Pigeon Trevor's talons on the fence is scary too. She hops to the wall to show she is ready for a fight. Trevor contemplates his existence. Aeon takes a few bites and Trevor lands noisily at the top of the feeding station. She eyes him suspiciously as he begins his freaky sliding. He bluff charges her. Aeon dodges it with great skill. Aeon is alert and ready for her next move. Trevor inches closer to her and the bowl. This makes Aeon slowly back away. Trevor then easily takes back the food. Aeon Flux takes it right back again. She flies off after Trevor. It is Trevor who returns alone. Aeon Flux takes one last look at Trevor rapidly devouring all of the food. She flies off but I don't think she went very far. Trevor remains unsettled. We can hear wing beats a few times. Something is flying about. Trevor is still very jumpy. A final shot of his paranoid face is precious and makes me chuckle. Finally, a starling has a chance for some grub. Every once in a while, a tiny alien spaceship tries to beam him on board. Okay, it's actually a crazy lens flare from the sun. Something frightens off the starling. The great tit butch appears. 
The starling mussels back in on the food, so it's bye bye, Butch. A starling does its crazy chattering, whistles, and clicks in the background. Seagulls circle on the thermals overhead, ready for a long flight somewhere before sundown. And it is there that we must leave it for now. I am enjoying things that the spy camera records. I don't mind its dodgy quality when we can see or hear something new. The pigeons kept me busy today, although I didn't see any baby pigeons this time. That is probably a good thing since the grown-ups were fighting so much. Hopefully I will get them on video soon. Until next time, goodbye.